It's True Faith TV. It is the more evening after the night mm-hmm. before. I don't know what's happening. I'm really tired. Newcastle are in a cup final of the league. It's the league, but it's a cup. It's the League Cup, Charlotte. This pro- probably cup. makes it makes it better than the other one. I don't even know what we did in that other competition this season. What My other memory competition? fails me. <laughs> I've got Charlotte Robson. You're here with me, not in the room, in front of your radiator. How are you feeling today? Well, I'm warm, so don't worry about that. I'm really tired. I'm emotionally drained from yesterday. Uh, But mostly, I just feel like we're fucking class. We're in a final. Newcastle United are in a final. Did you ever think you'd see the day? I don't think I did. Not even when Eddie Eddie Howe took over um, a year ago. Well, a year and a half, year and a bit ago. Time evades me. But you know what I mean? I didn't think that this is where we'd get to this quickly I was there last night. It was amazing. It was, I was tense. I think that's a hangover from the like previous era when, you know, we'd bottle it or we didn't, anything we got was a bit of a smash and grab or it was a, it was a fluke or it felt like we weren't going to hold on to it. And then we went down to 10 men and then I was just like, oh my God, holding my breath. And then I, I often do this thing, Alex, I don't know if I told you this last night. I often do this thing where I will get the, um, stopwatch out on my phone you know that I do that if I feel tense when they go into extra time I'll get the stopwatch out and I'll click it so I watch the clock the kind of I'm like okay it's but then I mean it's like went down and it added time but a man behind me went get your clock out for the lads which was (laughs) a play on a ruder thing I think (laughs) but it was funny and then I was holding up my clock for everybody behind me to my clock uh, but anyway, I'm, I think I'm delirious, but I'm feeling really happy. How are you? <laughs> I, I've remembered one of the happiest moments for last for me last night, Charlotte, was <laughs> when that second goal goes in, I just had that feeling, which I think we all have it sometimes. And I thought, imagine being in the away end now. You travel all the way to Newcastle. Start well, lads. You never know what will happen. Start okay. Stay in the game. 2-0 down after 20 minutes. They had a nice 25, Charlotte. Southampton had a nice 25 minutes in the second half. It means fuck all. They may as well, when that Sean Longstaff goal went in, their manager, whatever he's called, I don't know, should have gone across to Eddie Howe. Southampton man. Sorry, how did I forget? Should have walked across (laughs) to Eddie Howe and just shaken his hand and said, we've turned up, we've all had a look (laughs) at each other, we've had a look, it's not worth it. And and we, we, we... specifically me and you Charlotte have had to suffer Bruno's injustice and yes there was justice in the decision but injustice that we don't get to watch and play in the next three games next that's three very games. sad that's yeah. very sad but apart from that how am I really fucking happy where are my true faith hoodie just because it's really nice you can still buy them in true faith shop check that out link in the description and here we are Charlotte here we are here happy we bloody last. well are you Bye, know who hoodie. else is here and was there last night point number two and no, moving us on oh, to yeah. point number two I thought you were going to say Idris Elba, but that will be well. Oh, yeah, no, he was there. Inexplicably, he was there. Apparently, he's an Arsenal fan. I was going to say, how do you get a ticket? (laughs) Yeah, hard to get these days, but Elba, Elba has an in. That man can't stay away from me. I also saw him in Ibiza last summer. He's obsessed. (laughs) What I will say is point number two, and the thing that I was going to say is the person who was also there, I can't remember the segue. It was much smoother before Elba got introduced. (laughs) So thanks for that. Anthony Gordon. We've signed we yes. made a signing. We signed Anthony Gordon from Everton. The club gifted us, didn't they, Alex? With plenty of content. When Gordon came to the training ground, he met everybody. Talk to me about your favorite part. Parts, Charlotte, plural. There is yes, there is sorry. it's impossible to have a favorite part. I think I think above all, he is a boy. And that, that comes across in this video. This is a child in a man's world. <laughs> and, and Mad Dog Tyndall, you know, he, he surveys the scene and he basically thinks this is one of the funniest moments ever at work. <laughs> and he just basically continue, continually brings up the fight that Gordon had, had with his teammates in James's Park. It could have been referenced. It could have been, don't worry, Anthony. Mad Dog's here, talks about himself in third person, probably. Um, okay. You know, everything's going to be okay. Instead of that, he he essentially, maybe it's a test, Charlotte. Maybe it's like, he's it, everything's a test on Eddie Howe. You know, every single second you're being tested. And I'm, this boy, this child, this this, this million pound child, Tiny baby. is basically, 
introduced to every single um, player with Mad Dog falling falling around him in laughter, like unable to compose himself. Yeah. Such is his excitement at the moment. How about you? It's so funny. I think the particular part for me, well, there's a part where apparently like the way to greet everybody is to sl- like slap hands <laughs> together and then manly way to greet. But his hand must have hurt. You know, when you applaud for too long and you're like, oh, my hands hurt now. Yeah. Got to gotta have hurt. And there was a lot of training staff and a lot of uh, squad that he did that with. And then he met, um, like, why do they make new signings meet people when they're lying down? There was always, <laughs> like, there's always, like, several pictures of, like, somebody yeah. lying down on a bed. And they're like, bring them to me. Kieran Trippier is having his upper groin massaged. <laughs> and they have to break it off. Like the masseuse basically can't touch Gordon because he's so far. I don't know jelly. I don't know what they put on like oil. I assume to massage. <laughs> jelly. He has to go like. <laughs> Can you tell I've never had a massage? And, and I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. It's mental, and the guy has to like arm him like that, like hi mate. That's not an introduction. Doing that, like what the fuck's that? It's like chicken wing. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's a dance mad. Move. The video is mad. Funky chicken, and then he meets Cher. And he's like, like you say, a little boy. And um, Mad Dog's like, you got in a fight with him. He he had a fight with you. And Cher said something like, I, I was just trying, I was protecting my teammates. And then Gordon, oh, you've exposed yourself, Gordon. Not in a upper groin way, but in a um, <laughs> in a like. And then he goes, well, that's me now. You, you'll you'll protect me now. <laughs> And then Cher goes, only if you deserve it. Protect me, Niall. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, we have to serve it first. <laughs> like, so serious. And he's like, oh, he like withers in this video. Charlotte, I, I, I went to America a few years ago and I met these, you know, some, some famous people in the technology world. And one of them reportedly invented the internet. Seems like a big claim. You know, I sat there in Google's headquarters and I took it. I don't think this man, when he supposedly invented the internet, could imagine the content that's come from it. Forget everything else. <laughs> this moment, that interaction between those three men, Mad Dog, Fabian Shaw, Child Millionaire Gordon, yeah. is the is it, I would call it great television. It's just great internet. It's great, it's great internet. Content. It's content. Great content. It's just brilliant to see. The fact as well that Shaw, even to Mad Dog, when Mad Dog's like, ah ha ha, you had a fight. Like Shah's just like well, it was just you know he's like he's like really put out by the fact. Yeah. That he's he also lying even, down, by the way. Fabian was lying down, but just with like one leg in, you know, like one knee up, just casual. Like I'm not. He's like a Roman god. Yeah, like, it's I'm like you're like bring me the boy, bring <laughs> him to me. <laughs> wow. And they did. They did, and it did. You know, un, poor child boy. That's the same thing. Millionaire Gordon, multi-million pound Gordon. You know, it's your first day at work. And it's like, you're going to introduce all of all of your heroes, probably heroes, I don't know. That's why I came. We're going to film it. And there's going to be no, there's going to be no outtakes, no second cuts. If you're, if you're publicly humiliated and alphaed by Fabian Shaw, we're just going to put it on the internet. We're going to put it on Deal. the internet. Good luck Deal to you. <laughs> and you know what else got put on the internet? Point number three. Point number three. The segues are so smooth. They're smoother than... A jellied leg ready for massage. The goodbye from John Joe Shelby got put on the internet. John Joe Shelby has now departed Newcastle United to go and play for Nottingham Forest. A wonderful servant of the club. People keep calling him a servant of the club, um, which I understand. But I do think if you stop and think about it, it's quite a funny way to describe somebody. And he came and he did a goodbye. He drove all the way from Nottingham to come and say goodbye last night, which is what the stadium announcer said, which I also thought was very funny because surely he still has like a house here. <laughs> and it's it's only, isn't it only like a three hour drive? It's not, <laughs> it's not, it's not that <laughs> Anyway, he said goodbye. Will you miss him? Oh, I'll miss him. You know, I've been, I've been missing him all season. He's not been playing. Content problem for us. Let's face it. At home and with the Shelvies. Gotta yeah, go now. I don't know. Nottingham fans have TFTV. Probably not. Not funny enough. Um, that's John Joe's choice at the end of the day. And it's sad to see him go. I love the fact that he left in the best possible way. Um, he gave himself a small lap of honour, which I know for a <laughs> fact will have been at his request. He also wrote a letter on the website 
Yeah, got that um, on the website. And essentially, he 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 did it the best possible way, and he brought his kids onto the pitch. Yeah. What else happened, Charlotte, in this goodbye moment for John Joe? In the goodbye moment, do you mean the bit after the match? I do. He's A, in the team photo, despite the fact that he plays for a different team now, <laughs> um, which I love. And B, uh, there's a really lovely video I think Luke Vinton posted on Twitter where all the team are coming through and they look into one changing room and they obviously see him and they're like, John Boy! And then um, Callum Wilson basically lifts him up by the armpits and makes him come into their team change dressing room. <laughs> come on. And he's just like, they obviously really like him. And I just, I think that's nice. Charlotte Charlotte sent me this last night. I don't know what happened last night. But after the game ended, there was so much content. The Hopefully morning, you can see like, a lot. Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> Look at this video. And instead, you know, the fact that Wilson has had to pick him up. John just 31 years old. He's been, you know, you know, people haven't been carried into rooms since they were young children. John got carried into a room, I assume against his will, because otherwise he'd have just walked. He mm. just walked, Charlotte. He did, it, was, it wasn't a long walk. It, it's across the corridor. Yeah. You had we to be saw lifted him walk in, earlier in, on the pitch. And he's yeah, exactly. Ball. He can do it, you know, ever since he went to, to Turkey for, to get fit. And the fact that they, they want him there is, is unbelievable. And the fact that he's, he's gone, but also he's just lingering. Not, not many players linger like that after, but John Joe's not any player, is he? No, he's not. Wonderful servant. Should Wonderful we do Ask TFTV servant. quickly? We've done a longer Let's one today. Do hashtag. Charlotte, ask TFTV. Rich Weirs asks, he says, Alex, Charlotte. Uh, I had to wait for this cue, but now Anthony Gordon is set for the tune. How do you think this is going to affect the overall squad? Good looks score. And is there any coming back from this? Charlotte, you first. Very harsh. Very for a harsh. start on a man who has just hit puberty. Let him grow into <laughs> his looks. Is there any coming back from this? Is such a mean <laughs> thing to say as well. Um, look, Maybe that's why Shah's so unhappy. <laughs> yeah, could, no. If if I was Shah, I'd be like, "All right, this makes me look even better than if possible <laughs> than I already did." I think, you know, this doesn't because what Eddie Howe does is he bulks up players, doesn't he? Yeah. He bulks them up. He makes them buff. So at the very least, we're going to see an improvement aesthetically once Gordon's testosterone all starts to come in. Is that what happens to boys? <laughs> <laughs> once it comes in, you're just waiting for it. You know, it's Google search history. When will my <laughs> testosterone come in? Don't worry, Anthony. It takes, everyone's different. For some develop sooner than others. Well, Charlotte's um, enjoying, enjoying that thoughts um you're right though he's he, you know he's gonna have to buy new clothes he's gonna bulk up he's gonna get ripped well he went rich. to the metro center the first thing that he did yeah. so maybe he bought clothes a size too big because he <laughs> knew what was gonna happen to him maybe that's yeah. what was happening Callum wilson said on a podcast not this one he's never been on um that uh, if he looks at a weight set he puts on muscle which is quite a skill to do he said if he looks at if he looks at weights he gains muscle mass so maybe that's what um, you know, that's what's going to happen to Anthony Gordon. And I agree with you, Charlotte. They're all beautiful to me, as long as they're playing well and doing good things for the team. If Cheers they're not, to that. <laughs> if they're not, worst looking blokes. I've ever oh, seen dreadful, life. awful, ugly. Get off, get off my stadium pitch. It doesn't belong get to me. Get off my stadium. <laughs> it's I think that. We're just, we're just living in it. We should probably I think that. It does it for this week thanks so much for watching your likes mean a lot to me your views as well but it's all about what for you charlotte for me it's all about the comments please leave a comment if you've made it this far this is our longest one so far so apologies um please do leave a comment let us know what you think ask us a question hashtag ask tftv if you want us to answer your question in the next video that we do uh we're buzzing we're happy you're probably happy. Thank you for watching. We'll be back.